Today's multi-billion pound Church of England investment fund has been traced to the 18th century Queen Anne's bounty, which put money into a company trafficking enslaved people. There's no getting away from our past. Um, our history is really quite horrific. So now the church has apologised and is releasing a hundred million pounds to help communities still affected by that history. We still find that there are systemic injustices. We find that there are educational and financial gaps from other areas of society. We need to address the causes of that injustice, the causes of systemic inequality. And if that fund can do anything towards that, then it will be money well spent. It will not be justice for those who suffered in the 18th century, but it will be a recognition that the consequences are still felt today. So after other key moments, like the removal of statues linked to slavery, this is seen as a step in the right direction, but with many left to go. These things don't come about just through osmosis. Do you know what I mean? That there is work on the ground that is putting pressure on institutions, be they universities or churches or financial institutions. And that's why these institutions are having to make these moves now. The church says it's addressing what it calls a shameful past. And that's not least here, where the ships that once sailed these waters were part of such painful history. Peter Lane, 5 News, Liverpool.